My name is Joseph D'Souza. I'm the founder and CEO of Pro Navigator. We're an insurance technology company uh, working to build a communication platform specifically for the insurance industry. We've kind of built like the Siri for insurance, helping customers get quick information, but also internally helping your team find answers to your knowledge base. So we work 100% in the insurance industry, both on PNC, so that's home, auto, and commercial, as well as on the life insurance side. Uh, we work with uh, brokerages and agencies, uh, insurance brokerages and agencies, and also working with insurance carriers. And they're using our core technology in two main ways. One is externally to engage with customers, to answer customers' questions, to provide 24-7 support for sales and service and then also internally to help them find quick information to underwriting questions, billing information, really empowering their team to find quick information uh, so they can do, freeing up their time to do more important things. Yeah, so we build virtual assistants. And so on the customer facing side, um, you can think of it like a coach living on your website to coach users through uh, quote application to answer insurance questions. So about three years ago, I remember calling my uh, insurance company, I, I should say former insurance company for a simple answer to a question, being kept on hold for an hour and 35 minutes. And I would have gotten off the call a long time ago, but kind of just asking myself, you know, such an important impactful sector still relying on decades old technology. So how can we provide the tools they need in a world of on-demand customer experiences, you know, where Uber promises a car is gonna arrive in three minutes and it does, how can we provide a predictably great experience when it comes to our insurance? So combining AI, combining natural language processing, this, this chat interface um, to serve the needs of the modern day consumer like myself. So that's how we got started early on. Um, the company has continued to grow. We're based in Waterloo, which is um, one of the reasons is uh, we have strong technical talent there uh, with the University of Waterloo, so our data scientists and engineers. We have an office in Chicago. Uh, a team of about 25 now, but continuing to grow. Uh, venture backed and just serving, really serving the needs of the insurance industry um, through, through our core technology. Well, as a cloud-based platform, we're entirely running on AWS. We don't use AWS so much for the machine learning and AI piece. We built that tech in-house, but all our servers are in the cloud. Um, the lambdas and you know we're, we're, we're entirely the, the databases some of them we're using on, on AWS it's really helped us scale very quickly uh, of course there's a lot of startup friendly uh, products and tools that you can use resources that are available for startups that we've leveraged but AWS has given us um, the scale that we would we need from day one when you're going to sell into large enterprises the security and infrastructure when you're selling into large enterprises we're, we're enabled to inherit a lot of those things by leveraging AWS services. And of course, the team is fantastic to work with, very uh, developer friendly, very quick to turn around, uh, answers to questions that you have. So I think it's been a huge asset for us in being able to grow so quickly in the last, you know, just under three years. Kind of longer range is how do we um, build out more of this technology in a voice driven world? Uh, we've already done integrations with Amazon Alexa, as an example but being able to provide um, where people are now talking to their phones or they got their ear pods in or Alexa's coming pre-built into cars, how can we provide some of those same experiences to the consumer through voice? And early days, I mean, we've started uh, deploying for a number of clients, but starting to build that out more and more. Um, I think it's gonna be very key to the growth of our company. And then also international markets. So, uh, you know, the main challenge for us today is localization and language specific. Um, for that, that new market, but starting to grow into Asia and some of the other markets as well is going to be key to us.